Here we have the honey fungus, otherwise known as oak root fungus, because a lot of times it will infect oak trees. But I think it's actually armillaria fungus, or armillaria root rot, would be another way to call it. And we're in mid-September, after a rainstorm, and these big clumps of mushroom just sprouted out of the ground. Unfortunately, they are at the base of a Leland cypress here. I think they're left over from another tree that may have been growing near here, but because the fruiting body only sprouts forth when there's a large network of mycelium underground, that probably means that this Leyland cypress, which has got to be at least 20 feet tall, the roots have probably been infected because Leyland cypress is, I think, moderately resistant to this, but not enough to withstand this, probably. So I'm just going to have to plan for contingencies and maybe start planting other things closer to it that are resistant. Also got a Vanderwolf pyramid pine here, not too far away. So that's another risk. And there are actually more of these. I'll show you. Here's another one, just on the other side of the fence from that same Leland Cypress. So it's kind of surrounded. Now back here, Another bad sign, two big clumps of armillaria sprouting up next to this Thuya occidentalis, dark green arbor vitae. And I know for a fact that that species is susceptible to armillaria. Right next to it is a magnolia, which may be pretty resistant. And that's kind of why I planted this here, because I suspected that this fungus was around Although I had not seen in the past such a large sprouting of fruiting bodies. I just suspected it, so suspicions were confirmed. And the decision to plant a magnolia has been somewhat validated. I don't know how much longer this tree can survive, but I guess we'll find out. While I'm on the focus of fungus, have some pretty impressive shelf fungus growing on some of these tree stumps. There's one. Here's another one. That's pretty big. Goes all the way back around here. Another outcropping of armillaria. This one is almost underneath a Murray cypress. And on the other side here, a Serbian spruce. So probably not a good sign for either one of those trees. And here's another one next to another Thuya occidentalis. Two of them, actually. So I don't know what that means either. Probably not good. Here's a tiny one next to a cryptomeria. And where I lost a Thuya green giant. So I have a feeling it's pretty widespread in my yard, but probably located to different spots that are spread out. I don't really know what's going on here, but there's some other type of fungus sprouting this time of year underneath some Thuya Green Giants. So that's a little bit of a mystery. Here's another interesting fungus, somewhat gelatinous in texture, growing on a stump. Seems to inflate with the rain. I'm not really worried about this one because it seems to be limited to just the stump. It does look pretty cool though. Here's a close-up look at that really big clump of armillaria here. Amazing the way that so much of it can just sprout out in such a short amount of time. Obviously there must be a huge network of mycelium under the ground to support such a large fruiting body.